Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Just a quick video today, just a bit of an update really. Um, we've been to the vets this morning, don't worry, Ari is fine. She was just having her annual checkup. So I'm pleased to say that she's lost weight, yay! Um, the vet said she's lost a significant amount of weight and that she's doing really well. All the changes we've made um, she's not having human food anymore well she does have a little bit but not like we were giving her too much human food before so don't do that um, you can give human food but we don't get me wrong you can give them human food but we were just giving her what we were eating so if we were having fried chicken or something she was getting fried chicken Whereas really, you're better off to boil it and things like that. Anyway, so yeah, we haven't been giving her the food of our plates. She's been having treats for only for training, things like that, not as a regular, on a regular basis. And before she was getting walked every day, but she wasn't really getting a run. So as you've seen on our videos, we've been taking her as many times as we can fit in a week. Um, to the race course and she actually gets to have a little run around so yeah to the fat shamers out there there's still a few of you who say Ari is a fatty which isn't very nice it's true but it's not very nice to say <laughs> they say things like oh your dog's too fat um, or they call her fatty and things like that anyway it's not her fault it's her owner's fault and we're doing things to change that. I think that's everything. Oh, she had her nails done as well, didn't you, Aria? She had her nails trimmed. And she had her vaccination. So, yeah, she's all good. She's in good health. And we just need to keep doing what we're doing. And the vet said if you can get her to be even stricter with her that's that's good as well she because she still needs to lose a significant amount of weight we know now what her good her weight should be was we didn't really know before for some reason um so yeah we'll just keep going and our little dog will be happier and healthier i just wanted to ask do any of you have overweight dogs um if you've got any tips for us apart from obviously the obvious ones which we're doing already and oh yeah we also talked to the vet about the fireworks situation i did a fireworks video earlier and we're working with that because she's terrified of fireworks um her little heart pounds and she yeah one one morning um she woke me up and she was literally sitting on my head <laughs> because she was so terrified she was trying to get out behind my head trying to get it and the other day she was literally climbing up the wall um so the techniques we're doing they're working on days when there aren't a lot of fireworks but when it's like the big celebration night like guy fawkes night she was just terrified even with all the tips we, we well we shared with you the tips we've been trying and we thought that was going really well but she's still terrified aren't you sweetheart so anyway the vet has given us some medication and we're going to try that we thought we'd just try it on the big nights like Guy Fawkes Night um, Diwali New Year's Eve those things and they'll just sedate her a little bit and we'll just keep trying as we are now um, because we're still getting fireworks it's it's been about three weeks now just about every night and it's not the cutoff time in New Zealand is supposed to be 10.30, I think it is. And the other night they were still going at half past 12, just in the middle of the week. So I, I understand people um, like to celebrate and I have nothing against that, but they obviously haven't never experienced a dog who is terrified. The first year she was with us, I thought she was going to have a heart attack. Anyway, I got off track, haven't I, as I do. I also wanted to say a big thank you. Oh, Harry's had enough. <laughs> I always wanted, I just wanted to say a big thank you to the people who've checked out my other channel as well. I really appreciate that. 
Anything else, Aria? Yeah, so she's going really well with her diet. And I think letting it, because she gets a walk every day, I think the fact that we're taking her now to somewhere where she, she can run is making a big difference because we've noticed a change. She's getting more of a waste now. And that's only been over the last month or so since we've been taking it to the race course. Yeah, I think that's all from us today. I, I went on a bit longer than I thought I would. So anyway, have a great day, everybody, or night. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good YouTube-y stuff. And I'll see you again soon. I'm still working on a video about um, we're going to cook up some homemade dog food. It's a suggestion from our friend Tiffany. So we're still working on that one. Yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm, I plan to get together different recipes and obviously I can't do them all on the same day because I want Aria to taste them. She, she definitely wouldn't be on, a, be on the diet then, would she? So it's going to take me a little while to put that one together, but I am still working on it. Okay, I will see you in a couple of days with a new video. Thanks, guys. Bye.